Today we are going to make a gumball machine and it's going to require several steps and we won't be able to do it all in one art class. So we will um, just go ahead and get started and I'll take you through step by step. Okay, this is one that I completed with um, similar supplies, but ours might be a little bit different. So I'm gonna start with a small piece of paper. It can be a scrap piece of paper that you may have and a small circular shape. It could be a quarter. This is like a little medicine cup that you might take drink medicine out of. And I'm going to choose the size of my gumball. I think I'll go with the bigger size. And I wanna trace at least six gumballs because I want one for each primary color and one for each secondary color. Now, you can do more than six because you can always put fill it in with more colors. All right, now that I've traced my circles, I'm gonna use my watercolor to paint my gumballs. Now these are pretty big, so I'll probably cut on the inside of the circle so they're a little bit smaller when I'm finished. I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm going to choose which um, color, well, I'm gonna start with the primary color. So which primary color do I wanna start with? I'm gonna start with red. I'm gonna gently get my red watercolor wet, just very gently. And I'm going to do this entire gumball with my red watercolor. I'll rinse my brush and I'll move on to another primary color. I'll do my yellow, which has a little blue in it, but I'll try not to make, have it change color just yet. Now I'm gonna gently put my yellow on there. And then I'll rinse my brush again and I'll do my blue gumball. All right, now I'll rinse my brush and I'll start to make my secondary colors. So maybe I'll start with my yellow and red and make orange. So I'm going to take my yellow, get it nice and wet, and put a layer of this nice wet, I'll even wet it a little bit more with a little bit more water, yellow onto this gumball shape. While it's still very wet, that's the key if we want our watercolors to mix. I'm going to rinse my brush, get a little tiny bit of red, not too much, not too much at all, and I will start mixing it onto that yellow. I can already see my orange coming up. So I have my orange gumball. Now I'll make my green gumball. So I'll do my yellow again. Again, making sure it's nice and wet so that the colors mix well. And then adding in some wet blue 
and I will start to see that green change as it's, I apply that blue on there. So now I have my completed green gumball. And my last color, secondary color I need to mix is my uh, purple. So I'm gonna do my red first and I'll get it nice and wet. And then I'll get my brush rinsed, grab a little bit of blue and start mixing in with the red. If I feel like I'm not seeing that purple, you know, as purple as I'd like, I can always go back and add a little bit more red until I get the purple that I, that I want. Now I have two left, so I can paint those any color I want. And if I want to use a pure purple, I can. Or, you know, if I want to do green right out of there, I can. It's totally up to me what I what color I want to put in there. Hmm, I think I might do um, I think I might do one that's just orange right out of the container. Even though that's a brighter orange, it's still pretty cool that we made that orange ourselves. And maybe I'll want to do one more red. So then I'm going to set these to the side to dry because we're going to move on to our 9 by 12 piece of white paper to draw our gumball machine. Now, if you have a circular um, shape to, to trace, you can. Um, there's also the draw along included in this lesson plan that can help you with the drawing of your gumball machine. I'm gonna use this plate to get started. I'm gonna put it high enough that I can add, um, still have room to add the, the top of my gumball machine, but plenty of room at the bottom to finish out the shape. So I'm gonna do a nice circle here. And if you ever need to pause it, you can pause it so that you can catch up. Now, I think what I'll do is I'll go to the top. I'll try to find the center. Let's, can you see that? Yes. And I'm going to come in with diagonal lines and then connect those with a rounded line and then put a half circle shape, a rainbow curve line at the top. For the bottom, I'm going to come to the side, do a diagonal line down, come over here to do another diagonal line and then connect those with a slightly curved line. We want it to have that curve because we want it to look like it is a rounded um, form. And again, I can curve this detail line just a little bit and this detail line at the bottom just a little bit instead of making it go straight across. Now to show where the gumball might come out of, I can start by doing a no, the 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 um, the other directions for how to do a gumball machine might look a little bit different, so you can choose either one. I might do this sort of a um, square without the top. Then I can come over just a little on each side, but allowing some space in the middle, and then I can do a U shape to connect. I can do a 
circle right there and then kind of have a rectangle around that. That's the knob that you would turn to get your gumball out of. I can do my straight lines down and then just curve a little bit at the bottom and repeat that curve to have a place to catch the gumball when it comes out. Now I can start adding color with crayons to my gumball machine. So you can choose to have a white background. You can choose to put a line to show that your gumball machine is sitting on a tabletop in case you wanted to have some gumball gumballs on the side that you have you know, rolled out. Um, you choose, so you can do either one solid color background, leave it white, or like I said, give it a tabletop and then color the, the, the background there. I am going to use my crayons and I will begin to add color. So I've added color to most of my artwork here. I'd still like to put in a color back there. Um, but I can do that after the video. I don't have to do it right this second. But um, I did. I chose to do a classic red gumball machine, but you can choose the color that you prefer. Um, I do suggest putting a blue, a shade of blue into that sphere, that glass sphere. And I did add, before I added coloring, just a little bit of like a white um, sh shimmer of shine of the glass um, there that I did not fill in with any crayon. Now I can take a black and I can come over to one side and shade a little bit so that it's showing that how we talked about last time getting that you know some shading onto that form and I can just really lightly very lightly um, add a little bit of darkness to that side over there. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave a section white or try to color very lightly to have more of a highlight on that section. I can come in here and shade in as well. Um, and then I can also put a shadow onto the table. So maybe I just kind of have a shadow there that I lightly add that color. To the tabletop. Um, as far as adding in our gumballs, you will carefully cut them out of the piece of paper that you um, painted them on, and then you can choose where they're going to go inside your gumball machine. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back. and then place that in maybe towards the bottom and kind of, you can place them in, maybe stack them. You could have one here. If you had room, you could even fit one there um, and have a nice finished artwork that includes, um, we did color mixing. We talked a little bit about form and shading and um, it's a pretty fun artwork.